let's see what he's working with here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Yeah. Um, what's up, y'all? Today is the same day. I just watched Ted, the first episode today. I had left. It's hours ago. I had watched that, y'all. It was the morning. Now, I'm back here home at night. I done got the episode out. I seen the, um, you know, the replies, the comments. People want me to continue the show. And it's 10 o'clock at night right now. It's 10 p.m. Currently 10 p.m. I'm about to record this, drop it on Patreon, try to have it out ready for YouTube tomorrow. This is, hey, I'm back, y'all. It's a new year. I'm back every day. I, I took the last months off of last year. I'm back every day. I'm pounding you guys' face out. <laughs> that's, that sounded crazy, but just you to hear me out. Um, Now, I did not know. See, this is something. See, I'm glad. I'm glad I put the, you know what? I'm glad I put the first episode out there because I wouldn't have knew this. I would have binged the whole series, but probably wouldn't without even knowing that this was pre Ted, the movies. Yes. I've seen Ted. If you're here watching this uh, series with me and somehow you didn't see my Ted movie reactions. Um, I had to take, you know, I went through a whole bunch of stuff with my reactions. A lot of things got taken off my channel. A lot of great reactions. It's horrible. A lot of people left after some of them uh, got taken off. Like, I'm out of here, man. Took my favorite reactions off. I come and watch all the time. I ain't, hey, I get it. It's like some of my favorite artists, Michael Jackson, took down a Thriller album. Hey, you know what, Michael Jackson? I'm out. We in heaven, man. Um, Yeah, so I didn't know that this was pre uh, the Ted movie. So John is technically a young Marky Mark. He the young dog. So, so Ted didn't indulge yet. He didn't have any marijuana. I'm thinking Ted was lying the whole first episode. So now I can go into this next episode and know Ted just had his first hit. So they've been doing this since they was young dogs. Marky Mark been blazing up since he was 16. <laughs> Let's get an episode two of Ted, y'all. <laughs> but this is one thing I'm sure of. I'm happy I'm yours. Uh, no, I like this intro. John Hancock High School. <laughs> Why did I notice that the first episode? The night I was out at a basketball game with my whole family, and he he beat me unmerciful. He beat me very badly. <laughs> the hell are they listening to? No, it, it's like the telephone was just sitting there for a hundred years, and it took these two guys to figure, figure out, out what, what it was for. for. See, yes. yeah, you want they finishing each other's sentences now. <laughs> they official. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh crap. I really gotta go. You saw me down like a pre son at lunch. You were sucking that straw like it promised you a modeling contract. <laughs> think, think about your dad coming out of the bedroom naked on a weekend. That's what crazy. His hog hanging out of his robe, waving like a bat, sleeping through an earthquake. I'm gonna have nightmares about my dad's cock. That's crazy, Ted. All right, go on, get to pee. All right, just watch the door. Okay. It's not coming out. Well, come, come on, on man. I can't, all right? There's another guy in here, and I'm pee shy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, dude, do you mind? My buddy's self-conscious. Yeah, I thought he might be having some trouble when I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you take all the time you need to. I won't judge. <laughs> hey, bro, don't look. Oh, it's working. Oh, here we go. He made him comfortable. Thank you. That is all the thanks I need. <laughs> Jesus? Bruh. <laughs> he said Jesus. Oh, sh oh. He's here. Wrap it up. Is that how it works? He's got his little boyfriend with him. What if we are having an affair? I can satisfy him in a way you never could. Oh, oh. Dude, he just be kicking him like it ain't nothing. You wouldn't want to slap. <laughs> yeah. Pee much? Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go ask your mother's face? I am so sorry. That that was so over the line. What the f dude? That's sick. 
It's coming from you? I'm so sorry. I deserve what's about to happen. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Drink it up, asshole! Oh, Ted can't even protect himself. This ain't even cool. Clive a bully. I can't wait to see him get his ass whooped. Teddy. Oh! Yeah, the joke's on us, Joe. Oh. Pipes don't go anywhere. The kids are just flushing them back and forth all day. That's disgusting. <laughs> what, what happened when they doo-doo? And somebody flushed the toilet and then somebody else doo-dooing on the other toilet. I don't know why I thought of that. How can you watch that sh this show is very educational. We're learning about the struggles of Vietnam veterans and, and how to turn a wood chipper into a cannon that shoots cabbages. Mad. Educational. Very. You overdue for a colonoscopy. Yeah, I'm not getting one of those. But he says it's important. That guy's a quack. <laughs> not all Jewish doctors are smart, Susan. That's one of those stereotypes. Forget Maddie's a little racist. Technically, on the right side, you still find a way to ruin it. <laughs> Some of them Hebrews are just in it for the money. That is beyond fucking offensive. <laughs> it's about some of them Hebrews just in it for the money. It's... It wasn't so bad when I did it. Where was I? You drove me. I had you drop me off across the street at the mall. I didn't want to worry. <laughs> You're afraid of a procedure Ansu's got done without even telling you. I don't remember picking you up. I walked home. She walked she home. She walked to the crib after the colonoscopy? Couldn't feel my legs anyway, so it didn't matter if my pumps got slushy. Well, Maddie, it's your move. My move is I'm getting a beer. <laughs> Maddie said, you know what? I'm going to get a beer. Who's Clive? Yeah, this f***ing goon at school who picks on us. He doesn't have a father, you know. Oh, yeah, he walked out on Mario before Clive was even born. It's probably why he's so unhappy. Big, big reason. Defense mechanism. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying Clive is a bastard child? <laughs> He didn't have to go there, Ted. We have been blessed with information we can weaponize. What would the jerky boys do? All right, found it. Five, five, five. Oh, no. They got a telephone and tissue. This is not good. This guy's head up so bad. Clive, this is your father. Oh! I, I abandoned you when you were a baby. Uh, sorry about that. I, I had a rough day. <laughs> he had a rough day. <laughs> I knew you'd call someday. Mom said you wouldn't, but... This is wrong. Where are you? On oh, all levels. Can I meet you? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, be at, um, Friendly's tomorrow after school. And wear a sailor suit. <laughs> and a dress. Clyde. I, I spent some time in the Navy, so it's sentimental for me. Where do I get a sailor suit? You back-talking me? See, this smart mouth attitude is exactly why I left. <laughs> oh, my God. This is torture. Oh, yeah, and say ahoy to people when you get there. Okay. Dad, <laughs> I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, get those hopes sky high, buddy. Uh, I'd rather see him get his ass kicked. That amazing. was great. That's he deserved it, though. Okay, now as far as anyone knows, we're two ad executives on a business trip from Hartford looking for some local talent. Right. The mustache has changed your look, guys. Just landed a big account. Bounty. It's a very famous paper towel. <laughs> but we added the word thicker. Quicker pick her up. <laughs> Bought a summer house with that one adjective. Congratulations. Yeah. She hasn't let me touch it since the miscarriage. I'll be back with your fribbles. That was f***ing sad, dude. Oh, forgive me for trying to add a little gravity into the backstory, all right? I mean, why gravity? are we traveling? I want to slip also, my you wrist. get to be Mr. Thicker Picker. We picked out a name. The room was painted. Calm down. He got Johnny Wallen. Oh, my God. Look. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is freaking horrible. Yeah, fix your kerchief. There you go. Oh, now you're a proper seaman. A seaman. <laughs> I'd rather see him get beat up than this. This is kind of bad. He think his father's showing up. Oh, my goodness. That would hurt in so many ways. Good afternoon, friendlies. Yeah, hi. I need you to deliver a message to one of your customers. Dumb-looking guy dressed like an idiot. <laughs> this is his dad. I got a message for him. Oh, my goodness. I have a message for you from your dad. He's not coming because... You're a disappointment to him, and he's glad he left, and he likes his adopted Korean kids better. Oh. Sorry. Clive! <laughs> oh, he'd be crying. Big Clive crying now. That's there, see? It's wrong, guys. That was so wrong to do.
I feel bad for laughing. <laughs> I mean, he does look like it. Uh, I'm not going to say he looks like an idiot. Uh, he, he runs like one. <laughs> Way sadder than the miscarriage. His name was going to be Lawrence. <laughs> He's still rolling with the story. Give up on the story. But his name was going to be Lawrence. Then, see, that was cruel. I wonder if Clive going to show up to school today. I feel really shitty about yesterday. Yeah, me too. Hey, did you guys hear? Clive tried to kill himself. Oh, no! Did he say why he did it? Who cares? I never felt more free. Now I can wear my Ace of Base shirt without getting my ass kicked. <laughs> All the geeks are happy. Or the smart people. I don't know what words to say no more. Oh, Clive tried to take himself out. Nice shirt, Yes. Oh! <laughs> It's always somebody to take the place. We got a boy's heart in our hands here. I want to make sure I got my wits about me. Take a, take a <laughs> rip. A rip I'll always do it. I'm good. Call him. It's your dad. You done barfing up Bam Bams? <laughs> Why'd you leave that message? I, I, it was a test, and you passed with flying colors. You said you liked your adopted Korean kids better. I had to... to Release them back into the wild. <laughs> Release the Korean kids back into the wild. You're free, Korean kids. Go. Then can I meet you for real? Yes. Uh, eventually, eventually. But I, right now, I'm I'm kind of busy with work. What do you do? Uh, I'm a soldier of fortune in the Los Angeles underground. Whoa. Yeah, me and these other crack commandos fight injustice. And if you can find us, maybe you can hire me and my friends. That's that's kind of uh, like our slogan. <laughs> That's the slogan to that show we be watching on TV. Well, I'll uh, I'll keep in touch and uh, do good in school. I suck at school. I have a math test tomorrow. I'm probably gonna fail. I bet you're smarter at math than you think. Like like okay like if a bully beats up ten kids for their sexuality and twenty percent of them are in the <laughs> choir so they get extra beatings, how many go to the hospital? He put it in. Clive terms. I feel really good right now. Oh, I feel so good. What good people? Yeah, if he kills himself Great now, it's people. from other stuff. They're great people for that. They just solved the situation. They, they covered their track. <laughs> if you kill himself now, it's not because of them. He <laughs> said if kids get beat up because of their sexuality, <laughs> some of them get extra beatings because they're in <laughs> Oh, my God. Have the guys over, water up some burgers, watch the game. <laughs> you know what's weird? What? I've been, like, thinking about Clive. Wondering how he did on that test. Me too. It's it's. Up, right? It's like I actually give a shit about it. It happens, guys. Human. Oh, yeah. Here you go. I don't know why he hangs out with those boys. They're a bad influence. I think they care about Clive now for real. I think that's his test. Wait, don't look, don't look, don't look now. There's a grate on the front, but I can't see it. We gotta get a closer look. You don't touch it. What the f do you want, Bennett? Nothing. Nothing. You know, I'm just. I'm just, I'm just walking around. You know how I be. Clive! <laughs> he almost make me C plus. think he deserved oh, he it. He passed, he passed. <laughs> they still happy for him. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Our little, <laughs> our little genius. Doctor says. I don't care what the doctor says. I don't care what the doctor says. I'm not doing it. If you ask me one more time, I'm going to stay at a motel. We got another beer. <laughs> he don't play. I know it's scary to think about what they might find, but early detection is. You best think I'm worried about cancer? You get cancer, you don't have to pay taxes. Uh, All I'm saying is get your cancer now. <laughs> funny feet, y'all told me I could laugh at funny stuff. Cancer not funny, but the punchline was. When they put you under, you're not in control. All right, you you, you can say some. Sh and not even remember it. I don't want to say stuff. I got secrets. Okay, well, what the f do you care what some doctor thinks of him? Doctors talk. This is a small town. I don't want to ruin my reputation. <laughs> Maddie has a reputation. Okay, you catch colon cancer too late, you're dead. You'd be leaving John and Sue's on their own. You really want to do that? Told you she the mediator. I said it at the last show. But you got to go with me. To your colonoscopy? Yeah. When they drug me up, if I start saying anything about Vietnam, you gotta make a lot of noise. What happened in Vietnam? La 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 <laughs> Hey, Doc, this one time in Vietnam... I stuck a flute up my pussy. La 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 Oh, you gotta be louder and faster. La, Vietnam! La, 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 Keep going, la, la, I'm about la, to spill my la, secrets! What is going on in here? Colonoscopy practice? Get the colonoscopy. Oh, thank God! 
I just want this family to know that from here on out, I'm going for full on alcoholism. <laughs> she might want to use her own product. Am I crazy? I kind of want to call Clive and tell him he did good. Yeah, he should know his dad's proud of him. <laughs> They're Clive's dad now. Let's just call him. Okay. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> Clive got two dads. He went from none to two. Clive, you went up. Hello? Hey, Clive. It's your dad. Dad? Hey, guess what? I totally aced that test. Got a C plus. Good job, son. Good for you, champ. That's great. That, that's not really aced, but wow, good job. I know you're busy and all, but my birthday's coming up on Saturday. Uh, sorry, pal. I, I, got a, I got a work thing. But hey, maybe next year, huh? All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Dad. <coughs> I, when Clive looked like that, I feel bad. What about a baseball glove? He doesn't like playing sports. Well, that doesn't mean we shouldn't encourage it. Baseball's your dream, not his. Oh, my God. I, I just, look, it's his 17th. We don't have many of these left. <laughs> you know, you can't buy his affections. I am not Ooh. trying to buy yes, his you affections. Guys, y'all not the real father here. You know what? None of this shit matters anyway because we only got 20 bucks. What are we going to do? Okay, now turn right. This is so stupid. Why don't I just wear the coat myself? Extra height, Johnny. When you're tall, people assume you're in chat and take the rest of the day off. Thank you, tall supervisor. <laughs> he ran it to the right girl to tell. Yes. Hot left, hot left, hot left. Oh, God, right. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's tall. He's tall. Everything's okay. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Don't go that way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Security say, hey. Sideways. Sideways. Go sideways. Oh, oh. Excellent work. You can take your lunch now. Bert. <laughs> Bert pulled up angry. We were stealing it for a kid who doesn't have a dad, and that's not even really shoplifting, right? I'm going to need your parents' phone numbers. My parents are out of town. I don't have parents on account of I'm a teddy bear that came alive. He got you there, Bert. Haven't you ever had something that was just really, really important to you? Something that you'd do anything to make happen? I really wanted to be an actor. Oh, well, you, well, you're doing that now, Bert. When I was in my, my 20s, I did this community uh, theater production of Pippin. The John Rubenstein was in the audience. Oh, oh my wow. God. I don't know who that is. The original Pippin. The, the guy. I was about to say, That's fucking the guy. Goddamn That's right the he guy. Was. And he walked up to me, and I can still see his face, and he said, I really enjoyed the show. You were all wonderful. What a moment. <laughs> <laughs> to, to have the kindness to say you were all wonderful because you see the rest of the cast was right there with me. So he couldn't really single me out because that would have been dismissive to them. Makes sense, Bert. John Rubenstein gave me a look and that look said you were on the stairway to stardom. <laughs> then you ended up in a security? Yeah, well, I guess life had other plans for me. It happens, Bert. It happens. Everything has its time. Cats fit on the windowsill. Children fit in the snow. Why do I feel like I don't fit in anywhere I go? <laughs> you fit in right here, Bert. Yes, right here, Bert. You where you need to be. Wow, that felt fucking great. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, was that a moment just then we had? Wait, that was a moment. That yeah, was a no, real thing. It was. My feet are tingling. Wow. Yeah. A thousand wows. Yeah, yeah you I guys mean, you guys can go ahead. We're good to go, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, man. You really appreciate it. Bert, cool. Thanks for letting me sing. <laughs> Hey, Bert, cool. It's gotten out of control. I mean, I care about what happens to Clive, but we're acting like a lunatic. We gotta tell him the truth. Everything has its season. Everything has its time. He going for it all. We've got a very big sale. Might be time Cast to go. It on the <laughs> time to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He gonna have people ears bleeding while they shop, and they gonna be dropping in the aisle. Ah! What is that? You hear the word Vietnam, you yell like the place is burning down. Do you understand me? And this is my niece. She's going to be with me in the room there. It's against hospital policy. No, 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 no. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't, you don't understand. She's she's always with me. I love watching. <laughs> and it's my half birthday today, so. Give us a minute, okay? Get under the gurney. What? Hide under the gurney. I He's really trying to keep these secrets under wraps. I don't trust them. You don't become a butt doctor unless you're into some really weird some of these guys, it's <laughs> sexual for them. This is not sexual for them. I'll give you three hundred dollars, three hundred bucks. Take a month off the rent. She went under there. He said, "For some of these doctors, it's sexual." <laughs> I wonder if it's like that for real. You know, some of those doctors get a hard on from digging in guys' asses. Ooh, this one looks good. It puckers up real nice. It has a nice, you know. Ooh, this one is bleach really good. I mean, I'm, I'm going crazy. My bad. It's the show. It's making me talk like this. He's out. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. What yeah. a weirdo. Oh. 
All right, let's see what he's working with here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hair on the tip. That's a new one. <laughs> hair on the tip. Niece, why did you come in here? Guys, I gotta be honest. This is sexual for me. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> oh! Oh, good enough! Oh, Clive. Oh, hey, Clive, uh, can, we, can we talk to you for a second? It's best your dad. What about my dad? Invited us to your birthday party. It's a surprise. Yeah. I knew it. I knew he'd show up. Oh, Clive it's believed gonna it. It's going to be huge if even you two losers are invited. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what the f are we supposed to do now? He thinks his dad's showing up. We find somebody to be his dad. Fucking who? I don't know. We find an actor or something. Ah, sh. Bert. Bert. <laughs> Go get Bert. The perfect job. How did it go? It was a living nightmare. <laughs> I bet for her. As I'm clean as a whistle, nothing to worry about. Well, that's not all the doctor said. Blair, what happened? <laughs> he looking like what? Maddie made me go into the operating room with him. The drugs made him say some shit about Vietnam. You're not getting those 300 bucks. Nothing is worth what I went through today. She worried about the Vietnam stuff? What about the sexual stuff the doctor said? Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll understand. No, you won't. This was war. Tell us. I jacked off a dog. That's not... What that, the... What? <laughs> oh, my God. You guys said you'd understand. Before we knew how <laughs> up it was. You never meant to walk. Whose dog was it? <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> Whose dog was it, Maddie? <laughs> my platoon was camped in the jungle. About two clicks south of the Dolung Bridge. Our dog Scout was with us, <laughs> chewing on some dinner scraps. Buddy Donnie and I were about to start the night watch when we noticed Scout had an erection. <laughs> Scout had an erection. Keep going. We waited for it to go away on its own, but it, it didn't. It was obviously stuck. Now, that can be dangerous for a dog, especially in the jungle. It, it gets infected. <laughs> After four to six hours, it can be dangerous. We didn't have a medic with us, and I had to do something. I tried to ease it back in. <laughs> But it popped out. So I tried again. No good. Time was running out. Let me. Let this is disgusting. This is disgusting. Oh. God, this is so funny. And that's when it happened. He made a noise like a bark, but happier. He came? Donnie and I didn't make eye contact for the rest of the war. <laughs> they so upset. They are so upset. For God's sake, somebody say something. You soldiers gave so much. <laughs> I, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my God, this you show did it is there, hilarious. So we didn't have to do it here. <laughs> Stand down, soldier. Maddie, Maddie, you did what you had to do to save them, to help us. <laughs> so, we did, so we didn't have to do it. <laughs> he jacked off a dog. Why was that so funny? This episode is top. If you could not give me specific line readings, that would be great. Oh, uh, tell me something. Uh, where am I coming from? Huh? What? <laughs> Before I meet Clive, where was I? It'll affect how I play the scene. He was at home, grieving over his wife's miscarriage. Oh, Jesus Christ. About Lawrence again. We'll get one like this and then we'll try it your way, all right? Clive? Dad? <laughs> it's me, son. I've returned. Why is this so funny? I can't believe it's really you. Tell him you can't stay. I can't stay long. Uh, I have a stepmom? What's her name? Catherine. Pippin? He's, he's is doing Pippin. It's improvising. He's improvising. Sitting on the floor and talking till soon. Clive's gonna beat the sh out of him. Mom, what's going on? What is all this? Dad's here. Abort, abort. <laughs> Bert, run! I hate giving other actors notes. I, I feel like you come in so hot, you're not giving yourself anywhere to go. Okay, I can't work like this. Let me guess, she's the producer's girlfriend. <laughs> Bert the he on set. Are you not really my dad? No. Is this some kind of f***ing joke? I, just... <laughs> you... oh, I am about to beat the face off of you. Look, I'm sorry we <laughs> lied and said we were your dad. What is a dad? Someone who roots for you to do your best. He trying his hardest. 
We told you you could pass that math test. We were there pulling for you. We were encouraging you to reach your full potential. Didn't you feel good about yourself? Come on, Clyde, think! You're smiling more? I am. All the guys in Woodshop are saying so. I've been thinking about taking guitar lessons. We're gonna be at every recital. <laughs> really? Bring it in here. <laughs> what the hell? This is a turnaround for your ass. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. I can't see you there. Okay. Right. Different from being kicked. Let's go. <laughs> He's super happy. All he needed was some real friends, people to believe in him. Dude, that episode had me in tears, guys. I don't know what the heck. That was just some funny stuff, man. I That was fun. I don't know. That was funnier than the first episode. That was hilarious. <laughs> I jacked off a dog. <laughs> ah! You do not make that information public, Maddie. Maddie, you keep that information to yourself. That is not public information, Maddie. And what else happened at the doctor? He said it's sexual for him. Maddie was walking a little funny when he walked in the door. <laughs> what happened at the doctor, man? I'm scared to go get a colonoscopy now. They put me to sleep. I don't even want to think about it, you know. Oh, man, that's a wild thought in my head. Why am I thinking about this, guys? This is not good. I got to get out of here. Um, hey, until the next episode, this show, yeah, I'm about to do it right now. This show is hilarious, man. This might be one of the greatest. I mean, this might be one of the funniest shows. I can say greatest shows. There's only two episodes in. Funniest shows I've seen in a while. It just brought me to tears. I ain't been to tears in a minute. Since what? Jackass or something. But um <clears throat> into the next episode, man.